In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix HyperX Cloud 2 headset. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to give you common issues and solutions for your HyperX Cloud 2 headset. So first, if you are having trouble with no sound or low volume, check the connections. Ensure that the 3.5 millimeter jack or the USB cable is properly plugged into the headset and the audio source. As soon as the cables are securely plugged in, it should be picked up. Next, you can try updating the drivers. To do this, you can either download the HyperX Ingenuity software, so hover over support, click on Ingenuity, and then download for Windows, and I recommend doing this first. Inside of the software, you will be able to update the drivers for any HyperX peripherals, or alternatively, you can also try right-clicking the Windows icon, going over to Device Manager, and if your HyperX headset is being properly picked up, it should appear under here. If you don't see it under the sound devices, then it could mean that it isn't being recognized by your computer. This could indicate a problem with the cable that is connecting it to your PC, laptop, or Mac, or it could be a faulty headset. The best way to figure it out is to connect it to a different device. So if you have a spare laptop or another PC, try connecting your headset to that. If it works, then the problem is not with the cable. It could be with the port, so keep that in mind. With the driver update done and the software set up, see if it works. If it still doesn't work, then you should try restarting your computer and you possibly could have a faulty headset. If your microphone is not working, check the mute button on the microphone itself and through the software, you will be able to see if it is being properly set up. You can also go over to the control panel, access the sound settings, and in here you should see the playback and recording devices. You should Double check to see if the microphone is enabled and set as the default device alongside the actual headset itself. So you can right click anywhere on this page, go over to show disabled devices and show disconnected devices. Look for your headset listed here. It should say HyperX Cloud 2. And once you find it, make sure that it is enabled and it is set as the default device. Once this is done, it will be used as the input and output device for all apps and games. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix HyperX Cloud 2 headset. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.